the way he was playing the guitar, just the way he was. And there must have been other indefinable qualities that made me feel so incredible. I mean, I'd seen good guitar players before, and I had sort of done a complete freak out, or just, I mean, it was amazing. I, I couldn't understand how everybody was just quite casually dancing or whatever they were doing, because I felt this was so important. But then on seeing this very tall, lanky guitar player, who wasn't taking any notice of what the rest of the band were doing. I can't believe that he was doing the footsteps and the dance routine. Certainly not after knowing him. I can't imagine him, any of that. And um, I really had to meet him. I just wanted so much to know who he was and what he was all about and what was going on. So my friends went and spoke to him and asked him if he'd like to come back with us to our apartment. And he was very shy, and I think that he thought we had some dark ulterior motives. And then the evening was quite fantastic. We just sat around, we played loads of records. He thought he had to have a sort of a real singing voice and I played him record after record of Dylan's songs and eventually he said well if Dylan can do it so can I. And he sort of made his decision there and then that he was going to get a band together of his own and sing and do the songs that he wanted to do. I don't think that he'd thought really about writing songs, although I know that he had been writing lyrics at least, but he didn't say, he said he hadn't yet. Because he was so unsure of himself, he had no confidence in his own sort of creativity. We got him a guitar, which was a good starting point. So in Café Gogo, he really liked it there. He loved the village. I don't know that he'd spent very much time in the village before he was playing there. And there were some great people, and everybody was really into sounds, and he would just be quite happy, and everybody he'd talk to, was, he'd, he'd get on very well with, and they would talk about records and music, and he was absolutely fine. He loved it. He loved Bob Dylan. He dressed and looked like Dylan. He, we all dressed and looked like Dylan. We looked ridiculous walking down the street. Oh, wow. 